Uh, so after the last few videos, I mentioned Tanabe Sensei over and over uh, as an individual that I would want to send a sword to first before setting up for Shinza to get an assessment of the blade, the inscription, uh, help make a determination about who should restore the sword. So the questions I received were about Tanabe and what are Saigaki. So I wanted to pull out a couple of reference examples of Saigaki and also information about a uh, Saigaki from Tanabe Sensei. So this is an example of a Saigaki that Tanabe would provide. Uh, the blade uh, for the Shirosai was by the very famous smith Abisa and Saburo Kunimune. Uh, so on the Saigaki, Tanabe begins with the attribution of the smith, Bizen, which is the province, Saburo Kunimune is the smith. Uh, then you have a, like a Setsume description of the sword, and here he will talk about uh, the presence or absence of an inscription. Here he refers to the, the, the Nijime, the two character signature on the blade, uh, and then uh, goes into more description about uh, the quality of the work and when it was made. Below the description of the sword, he will have a uh, the nagasa, the length of the blade, and then you at the very bottom will have the date that the saigaki was done, uh, and then at the very bottom of that you'll have the uh, the signature of uh, Tanabe himself or, or Tanzan with his uh, kao. So this is a typical format for uh, Tanabe Sensei saigaki. And one more interesting example of Saigaki that I want to pull out is for a blade by uh, Shintogo Kunimitsu. Uh, the blade is in a separate new Shirasai, which also has a Tanabe Sensei Saigaki, but this is the original Shirasai for the blade. And it's extremely interesting because it's made in the form of a Ken, or a Buddhist sword. So th there is just a remnant of the Saigaki on the, the Shirasai, but a few characters can be made out, and specifically uh, the, the kanji for temple. So given that it's made in the shape of a Buddhist ken, and there's a reference to temple in the Saigaki, clearly the sword was in a temple uh, at some point as dedication. And the blade was made by uh, Shintobu Kunimitsu, who is considered to be the founding father of the Soshu school, and he's even more famously the teacher of Masamune, and considered to be one of the two most famous and skilled Tanto Smiths of all time. So I will have a follow-up video where I show this sword specifically, and I'll show the Tanabe Saigaki uh, for this sword, uh, and then follow up with more content soon. Thank you.